Hi friend, this is Celeste from Finger Play Studio. It's been a while since I did one of my weekly studio updates, but I'm back. It's August 29th. And first off, I wanna thank everyone who came out to Yarn Crawl. It's always so much fun and so much fun to see you all and see people who come back year after year. We so appreciate it and we hope that you had fun too, even though things were a little bit different in this pandemic time. So I thought I'd start off today by showing you what I've been busy with and what I've done over the summer. The first piece here is my Rebel Rebel cardigan. The pattern came to me from a customer who was making it and she took a look at the Queensland fingering Katmandu that came in and said, ah, oh, that would be perfect for this. And I totally agreed. I had to cast on immediately. So this cardigan, and it's called Rebel Rebel, and it is by Libby Johnson. It is on Ravelry. It's a really unique construction, which made it a fun knit because it wasn't just a mindless go. You start back here with a provisional cast on and do some short rows. And then you move over the shoulder and you make two shoulder panels. So it's a little bit of origami and trusting the pattern. If you're going to make it, I'm happy to guide you through it because it's hard to visualize when it gets going. But then the rest of it is pretty straightforward. It has these adorable, yet not very um, practical <laughs> little pockets, but they are a nice design touch. It's so comfortable. And the Queensland again does make a perfect match with this pattern. Another customer inspired project. I had a customer come in who wanted to make something chunky. She was actually making a vest and I suggested to her the Luscious Llama, which is a bulky or chunky weight, 100% baby llama. It feels so beautiful. And before she left, I had to pick a pattern for myself to make out of it. So I made the Petite Knit Sunday Cardigan. You've seen this before probably on Ravelry and Instagram. It's very popular. She holds together two different yarns to make this, but with the Luscious Llama, you get the right gauge and the fluff all in one yarn. And it's so soft. I'm sure I'm going to wear it a ton. I'm excited about it and I think it came out really nice. The interesting thing to me about this pattern was the collar is folded down. So the collar's super long. I went ahead and did it as she said and folded it to give that look. But I also, before I sewed it in, I thought it would also looked nice if it was just folded out to give it a collar that way. So that is the Sunday Cardigan by Petite Knits and I made it in the Elspeth Levold Luscious Llama, which we have several colors of. We just restocked it. And we're restocking lots of yarns. So I'll give you a smattering of what has come in. We have restocked our Maxima from Manos. They come in these, what we call yarn babies, because we hold them. And we do that for a while before we can skein them up and put them on the wall. But uh, we've got some a lot of new colors in of that. Another yarn we just got in is this lovely marled 100% superwash merino, 200 grams. So it's 612 yards on here. Um, and this is so great. Like two skeins would make a small sweater, three skeins for an extra large, one skein for a child's sweater, or mix it with something else. I think I'd love to see it mixed. Um, if you like spin cycle, but don't like its price, this is your friend. So this is cobblestone and we have several colors of it. I think they're just lovely. And for accessories and tools, we have some new scissors. These are very fun. That one is a sheep. We've got several different motifs for these primitive scissors. And 
We have these fun little flower scissors and a few others. Nice small size scissors. You can never have too many. I try to put one in every project bag. I have like a little notions pouch for each project. That way, because I have several projects going on at once, I don't have to go hunt them down. I also have where I hang out in my house and knit. I have a table next to me and in that drawer I keep tools as well like scissors and fix it tools and stitch markers and tape measures. So I always have those handy so I don't have to get up and go digging for them because I'm lazy. And then we have from Katrinkles, we've got several of her stitch marker sets. This one happens to be for socks, which I find extremely helpful. They have the beginning of the round markers where you need to do your slip slip knit versus your knit two together. You can mark that as well because I can't keep that straight in my head. So these are great. Also make great gifts. And then speaking of socks, we have a sock class coming up. It's for three consecutive Wednesdays beginning September 8th. And it is at five o'clock on those evenings. And Sherry will take you through the basics of a basic sock. We really believe if you want to knit socks, the best thing to do to totally understand them is to make them your first time on DPNs, wooden DPNs, and work from the top down. So that's what that class is. You can register on our website at fingerplaystudio.com. Other classes that we have going on for very beginning knitters, people who have never picked up knitting, I have a learn to knit a headband class starting on, well, it's only one day. It's a Saturday for two hours from 10 to 12, Saturday, September 10th. And that is also on our website. I have another learn to knit class, which is a great class if you need a refresher, maybe you knit a long time ago, maybe you learned to knit on YouTube and you wanna make sure you're doing things right, or you've never knit in the round. That's a hat class and it is two classes. There's a week off in between to give you time to knit and you'll make a hat in the round and then in the second class, we'll put you on double pointed needles. So if you haven't done that before, it's a great class to improve your skills. And then for fun or no experience with yarn knitting or anything, or if you've had experience, we have a wet felting workshop coming up. This is a sample that Sharon did. Sharon loves wet, wet felting. So she's got a few samples in the store. Basically you are painting with fiber. You start with just fiber. You don't have, you make your fabric and you make your shapes on it. And it is surprisingly freeing creatively and really, really fun. And you get wet, we'll be outside. That's a great one. That is September 18th. So check that out. I do have a kids class coming up on, on September 16th, I believe is a Thursday after school. We're doing crochet this time. We have several spots available still ages seven and up is perfect. And we just have fun. So that's a great one for your kiddos. Um, speaking of crochet, I have a learn to crochet. This is for first timers. This is if you've never crocheted before or you just want to learn how to do the granny square. This granny square is a flower. You may have seen them outside on our tree. I've been yarn bombing the tree. So again, believe it or not, this is a first timers class. No experience necessary. It's really fun and you'll learn the basics of crochet as well as the creativity of crochet, which is the part I love about it. Sharon is teaching a one skein shawl class. This is the Venenza shawl and it has a little lace on it. It's reversible. So it doesn't matter which way you throw it on. This is beautiful. One skein of fingering weight will make this shawl and she has a couple of spots available in that one. It's a really good first time shawl, first time lace. You can check that out. So a little word about the store itself. We are open Monday through Saturday. We are closed on Sunday. Monday through Friday, we're open from 12 to four. And on Saturdays, we're open from 10 to four. 
Some people have asked why our hours are still short. It's because people, we are still in a pandemic and we're trying to reduce our risk. Our classes right now are scheduled for in-person. We'll meet outside when we can. When we can't, we have a giantly long table and we will spread out. We keep the class size pretty small so that we can do that. And if need be, we'll move to Zoom, but we're really hoping we can stay in person. We do ask everyone to be masked while in the store. That's it for this week. I hope that you have a wonderful, fun week and enjoy the outdoors while you can, but don't forget to take your knitting and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. P.S. Know that when I say knitting, it's kind of a general term for me, knitting, crochet, whatever you do that makes you happy. Yeah.